hi everyone welcome back to this fresh new section and in this section we are going to talk about dimensional reduction technique that is pca before that uh, before jumping and knowing more about pc and actually implementing the stuff let's know about what do we mean by the curves of dimensionality now uh, what do we mean by dimension first of all when i'm talking about right now you must have seen whatever problems you are using they were having somewhere 10 features maybe 10 features or let's say less than 20 features all the data sets that we have been worked ha have been having less than 20 features right but once you jump into real life scenario you will find that that is not always the case that we will only give uh, get 10 features or 20 features there can be n number of features okay. there can be n number of features okay so what do we mean by features is nothing but the columns so there can be let's say thousand columns and training your model let's say you are training out a regression model or a classification model anything whatever you are doing and there are thousand to uh, let's say ten thousand features thousand to ten thousand features then just think about the uh, time take how much time it will take to train your model plus the next thing you might just guess off is how to know that which points are necessary for us okay checking out the correlation is completely fine but what if uh, we are doing some other kind of problem where we there can be some features which are static and we don't really need that so out of 10,000, I'm pretty sure that less than uh, 2,000 or 3,000 features we don't really need. But getting out all of these features are not quite possible in deleting them. Even deleting three uh, columns, 3,000 columns, we still have 7,000 columns, 7,000 features. And training a model will take a lot of time. Moreover, visualizing each and every data, it's impossible for us. So that something is what we mean by uh, dimensionality and that's the curse we have. So, the curse of dimensionality refers uh, to a set of problems that arise when working with high dimensional data. Okay, high dimensional data is when we have a lot of features. The dimensions of data set corresponds to the number of attributes or features that exist in a data set. A uh, data set with a large number of attributes or features, generally of the order of hundreds or more, is referred as high dimensional data. That is when we have more than hundreds and two thousand thousands of uh, columns. Okay, that is thousand of col uh, features. Those are known as high dimensional data. Okay, some of the difficulties that comes with high dimensional data manifest during analyzing or visualizing the data to uh, identify patterns, and some manifest while uh, training machine learning models. So you can get out of the problems. So that this difficulty related to the dimensional uh, high dimensional data is referred to as the curse of dimensionality so we need a way to reduce out the dimension okay let's say you have a four you have four dimension and you want to uh, you have two dimension you want to change it to one three dimension you have to change it to uh, maybe two or less so it's always like we have these algorithms known as pca uh, principal component analysis lda all of these help us to Let's look into what we mean by PCA. So PCA is an unsupervised learning algorithm that is used for dimensionality reduction. So it's a dimen uh, dimensionality reduction method that is often used to reduce the dimensions of a very large data set. But how do we do that? We do that by transforming a large set of variables into a smaller one that still contains most of the information okay, in, of the larger set. So what we do is, uh, let's say you have three dimension in your data set. After applying PCA, we might get two dimension. Okay, we, we shall be getting two dimension, uh, which is much lesser. Similarly, you can have very much higher dimension and we can change it to a very, di uh, very smaller dimension in space, which will have which is like very helpful for us to data vis uh, to visualize the data compression. Actually, what you are doing, you are compressing out the data. 
ठीक है सो रेड्यूसिंग द नंबर ऑफ वेरिएबल्स ऑफ अ डेटा सेट नेचुरली इट इट्स क्वाइट क्लियर दैट यू आर कंप्रेसिंग आउट द डेटा ओके वी हैव थाउजेंड ऑफ डायमेंशन एंड यू आर कंप्रेसिंग इट टू टू डायमेंशन और थ्री टू डायमेंशन प्रोबेबली टू और थ्री डायमेंशन so you will there's a trade off okay there's an expense of accuracy but the trick in dimensionality reduction is to trade a little bit of accuracy for simplicity okay so most of the times uh, you will get a bit of less accuracy but it will make your model very simple so simplicity increases accuracy decreases a bit obviously you are losing a bit of information 